if you guys want to see how I do this corned beef flitters just continue to watch hi guys so this is Jody cooking and today guys I'm gonna make you guys some corned beef flitters this is the first time I'm gonna make it but I know it's gonna taste absolutely delicious that's the flour there that I will be using it's plain flour these are all my seasoning you have salt you have all proper seasoning and you also have black pepper these are all my herbs you have kachmanic pepper you have spring onion and you also have sweet pepper and that's the corned beef that I'll be using so first thing I'm gonna do guys I'm just gonna make my butter mix so I'm just gonna add one spoonful of the all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoonful of the black pepper and one teaspoonful of salt and you're also going to need water so I'm just going to add some water to it I'm not going to add everything all at once I'm going to take my time Just make sure all this seasoning is all blend out in the flour. So this is how it should look guys. Basically as if you're making a pancake. Just make sure it's all mixing. So it's all finished now. Hi guys, so here I have a pot and the stove is hot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some vegetable oil to it. Not a lot, around two spoonful. So my oil is hot guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add all my herbs. That color, amazing, beautiful. Mix it all in. So I'm just gonna allow it to fry, guys, for at least two minutes. I'm just going to add my corned beef now. I'm going to add a, a teaspoon of the black pepper to the corned beef. Make sure you stir it all in. And I'm also going to add some ketchup to it, guys. Around a spoonful and a half. Let's stir it. And I also had some all-purpose seasoning to it, guys. Not a lot, just a teaspoonful. So it's all finished now, guys. So I'm just going to remove it. So this is how it should look, guys. After you finish, just make sure it's not too oily. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to allow it to cool for at least 15 minutes. Hi, right, guys. So my corned beef is all cool. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to pour all my mix in there. Mm. 
and basically I'm just going to store it. Sure, it all store right in. I know this is gonna taste so delicious, guys. I know I might do sawfish flitters, but I'm so tired of sawfish flitters, so I just want to try something different, you know. So this is how it should look guys after you finish. As you can see the corned beef is all blending with the flour. If it need any flour you can always add flour to it or if you need any water you can always add water to it also. But it's all finished. So here I have a pot on the stove guys. It's hot so what I'm going to do I'm just going to add some vegetable oil to it. Just put good amount guys because obviously you're frying it. So my oil is hot guys so I'm just gonna add my flitters to it. Take your time. So this is how it look so far guys so I'm just gonna allow it to fry for at least five minutes on each side and my stove is on medium to high so I'm just gonna turn them now guys wow look at that color I think that color is amazing so this is how it look guys after I finish turn them guys I'm so happy <laughs> look at that color it looks so amazing wow I'm so pleased hi right, guys so it's finally finished so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna remove them So I'm just gonna plate it up for you guys and show you guys how it looks on the plate. Hi guys, so this is how my corned beef flitters looks on the plate and I'm telling you guys I am so happy. I'm having it with some barbecue sauce and I just garnish it with some sweet pepper. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, Please like and subscribe for many other videos and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can receive more video of myself. And thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye!